All right, so for the concept of what? Splenography. Splenography is another thing that could be done to the spleen. And this one is not splenectomy, okay? So splenography, you are just trying to repair any injury to the spleen, all right? Why splenectomy? There's too much damage to the spleen that you just want to remove it, okay? So that's the differences between the two concepts. So we define splenography, we talk about indications like when to do a splenography. We we'll see this is what a splenography. Okay. We we'll also talk about the techniques. We we'll talk about the benefits. We'll talk about the risks and complications. Then post-operative care, like after the operation, things that I need to now do to the patient and all that stuff, right? So for definition, what's well, now this splenography is a surgical procedure just to repair a torn or injured spleen. So you are doing this to repair a spleen that is torn or injured, right? So the goal of splenography is to what? Preserve the spleen's function and avoid its total removal, which is what? Splenectomy. All right. So you are trying to now repair this, this spleen before time so that it should not undergo total removal. Indications when you should do a splenography. It is traumatic splenic injury, but that's when the injury is not too much. All right. That's probably from grade 1 to grade 2 of splenic injury. You can do a splenography. If there was splenic lacerations or rupture, maybe due to maybe surgery in the abdomen, so you, you like by mistake cut the spleen. You can do this splenography just to what, repair it. If there's bleeding from spleen, you also do it to repair it. Okay. So this is splenectomy, which is total removal. This is what partial splenectomy, you just remove just half. And this is what splenography. Okay, then techniques like um, what are the ways you can do splenography? So there's suturing where you're actually stitching the tear or laceration. Can you see this? Can you see? Look down here. There's like knitting around. So that's suturing. Then splenic wrapping is where you are wrapping the spleen with a mesh or gauze. This is splenic wrapping. All right. Then splenic embolism, this is where you are blocking the blood flow to the injured areas in the spleen. Probably you are just, um, you are like tying the blood vessels, not really tying, mustn't be tying, but you're just blocking the blood vessels so that blood will not flow to the part of the damaged part of the spleen, okay? Benefits, it will actually preserve splenic function, thereby avoiding the total removal of spleen. Okay, it's to reduce risks of infections. Okay, to avoid the complications of splenectomy. Because the spleen is there, it is important. It is filtering blood. It is involved in your immune system. So if you totally remove the spleen, that means what? All these functions will not be there again, leading to complications, right? Um, it is actually, okay, minimal invasive options are available. So in doing this splenography, you mustn't open the patient up which is nice, right? You just open them very small and this can increase their chances of what? Recovering. So risks and complications. This surgery could lead to what? Infections, it could lead to bleeding or hematoma. It could lead to splenic abscess. It could lead to pancreatic injury. It could lead to what? Adhesions or bowel obstructions, right? Post-operative care, all right? You manage them for complications, pain management, if you suspect that there will be an infection, you treat them before time. That's antibiotic prophylaxis. So I think that's it for splenography. Definitions, indications, techniques, benefits, risks, complications.